So what's up, guys? I hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. And just a quick question for you guys. Your, t your living room TVs are working, right? Because I finally get a weekend off with my wife. Sunday night after the cookout, everyone's gone. We're, me and her are just relaxing, watching TV, playing – we're watching TV and we're playing um, – we're playing um, Mario Party Superstars, and then the TV just goes black screen. Oh. Uh -huh. So I Spend get up, I reset, I, I reset it, um, I unplug it, you know, because you're supposed to unplug it, let it sit for a minute, and then plug mm -hmm. it back in. We looked on YouTube, we looked up our, because we looked up the brand of our TV, um, which was kind of an old TV, so it's, it was due to die, but we could hear the audio, but we could not hear the, the we could, we just had a black screen, no, no, no picture. So... I had so I, after after all that we roughed it out for one night, but I went to I got a, a new TV at Best Buy um, this this weekend, uh, seventy five inch LG. Jesus, all right. <laughs> but, uh, you went yeah, big. but uh, I went I went big, but um, it was it was and actually a really home. good deal. It was actually a really good deal, but um, then I yeah, it, it was kind of a pain in the ass to wall mount it, but I I got it done. Uh, Liz helped me, but I get like. It's uh, it's mounted to the wall. As, yeah, as you, you, you did, you did most of the work. Mm. Let's uh, just as you hear, it, as you hear a huge crash upstairs, and it just falls on. The <laughs> that would you suck. hear me just. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the basement right now, but yeah, I figured, I figured, I uh, that's the worst feeling when you're just relaxing. You finally get some time off. Your, you know, nice, uh, nice weekend, and up oh, the TV. We're just playing Mario Party, and then we're we're gonna you know do a Netflix night and chill, and like up oh, the TV's dead. Oh great! So it's like. <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah. I, I've yeah. been there before with a TV just, like, dying. Sometimes, mine, it would, like, when it happened to me a while back before I had to buy my next TV that I'd gotten after that, it was, like, it would go black, and then if you turned it off and then waited, like, 20 minutes, it would come back. But, like, yeah. Yeah. you ain't got time for that. Yeah, mine was due to die because it was, it was an older TV. And plus, it was an off-brand. It wasn't a name brand. But it's, it lasted, like, 10 years. It was a... Hmm. It was a 55 inch um it was skeptor is the brand it was an off yeah off brand or straw brand or whatever yeah oh, cool um i mean i have some gripe to pull with uh apple right now <laughs> uh, well i mean hey welcome everybody this is a uh, past <laughs> present playback i'm zach this is i'm sean that's sean <laughs> this is kyle <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Sean, you never said the intro. You had one job. <laughs> All right, Kyle, now you have to edit and put this in the front. and then... <laughs> uh, But uh, right before we were I was like, damn, this, we're going in raw. <laughs> right before uh, we were getting ready to record this, um, I was trying to get everything ready so we can have this on, uh, you know, Apple Podcast. But uh, they be in uh, pains in my butt. They will not let me create an account so I can upload it to Apple Podcast. Zach, you you good over there, boy? Yeah, no, I'm just checking something. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you did you have to? Do you already have an Apple ID prior to this, or were you? Uh, yeah, I have two, them? but I didn't want to use those because I wanted to make one specifically for the email with okay. that one. That way, everything okay, was all in one sense. place. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I ended up talking to their, like, support, and they basically told me to just uninstall everything from my computer and try again, because apparently that's an issue. Uh, which I was like, no. And then they're like, well, do you have a phone? I'm like, yes, I have a phone. It is 2024. Five-year-olds have phones. <laughs> and then they're like, well, on your Apple device, I'm like, cool, don't have an Apple device, but thanks for assuming I do. <laughs> And uh, I said Android, and then the lady just didn't respond for like ten minutes. She just went, oh! yep, and was vomiting. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to help you because uh, she then was like, "Go get iTunes," and I'm like, "iTunes doesn't exist in the Play Store. I can get Apple Music." It's like, "Yeah, that works." So I was able to create it, but I couldn't iTunes finish it. Off the Windows Store, I have to get it for work sometimes. Yeah, I didn't want to download it. I was trying to avoid. That's that. fair. That's fair. Just to create an account. It is garbage. Um, iTunes, yeah. So it's made, but it's not finished setting up. So yeah, eventually it'll be on um, oh. Apple Podcast. Yeah, for now, you can enjoy the video version right on uh, 
TCG Boys. Yeah, on YouTube. That's about it. On YouTube. YouTube backslash TCG Boys. No. We haven't even had 100 no. subscribers yet. Oh, you don't get the backslash until then? Yeah, you did 100 subscribers. Mm-hmm. So, subscribe so we can get our URL. Yeah, we're at 67 right now or something like that. So- yeah, we're in the 60s. Zach, anything new? You? Good? Bad? Something in between? I've been watching Resident Alien. What is that? Oh, I've seen I've seen that a little bit. It's not bad. Yeah, it's 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 fun. Alan yeah. Tudyk uh, plays yeah. an, an alien that uh, is trying to destroy humanity, but you know he uh, he starts he starts like you know, just becoming human. Yeah, he <laughs> doesn't mind. The, the, he actually doesn't mind that people are the town grows on him. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> fun little show. Uh, we uh, wife and I just finished uh, season one. We just started season two today. Pretty nice. good. Having a good I time. Fin- I haven't finished that. I watched like half of the first <clears> season. <throat> good show. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, you know, it is a good show. I, I would even say it could almost make like a, like a, like a, like a top five or something. And I, I think oh, that Smooth. brings us right into the topic for today. Smooth. It's our top. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to be talking about our uh, top five favorite TV shows of just like all time. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. stuff that we really enjoy. Until, We're know, talking about live The next action, time somebody asks me, and then I have to think yeah. about it again. I, true, I mean, you know, <laughs> what what we're feeling right now, we're people, we're going to change whatever the hell we want, whatever we want. <clears throat> oh, yeah. um, you know, I'll watch a brand new TV show tomorrow, and I'll be like, this is the best I've ever seen. But yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh, who wants to start us off? Nobody uh, I'll speak jump, up at first. Uh, all right, I'm going to... You're going first. You're pointing, but I don't know who you're pointing. Uh, at. I think it's you. I'm pointing Kyle. Okay, because okay. to me, okay. you're over here. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, he's like. I think he's pointing. <laughs> so if I point that way, I'm pointing at you, Kyle. Yes, yeah. yes, and Zach, okay, and, then, and then Sean's below me. So it goes. Oh, I've got you. everyone right next to each other. So this would be same, Sean for me, and that would be Kyle for you. <laughs> but for me, this is Kyle, and this is Sean. But yeah. So every time you've pointed in these podcasts, I've just guessed. <laughs> Damn. But uh, yeah, uh, so top fives. Uh, I've got a, a couple here, uh, more than five. Oh, let's let's do let's we'll do one at a time, and then we'll just yeah. shift over. Yeah. Um. So this is in no particular order. Um, yeah. I'm not. I don't care enough about orders. Uh. Mm-hmm. But uh. Yeah. Spartacus. One of my uh, favorites. Um. It was a stars show. Yeah, stars. Yes, <clears throat> I never even watched it. That's like that basically the only thing I know is that it was on Star. Yeah, uh, I've seen it a couple times. I had I watched it. I own all of it. Um, and then had yeah, you loved it. Nelson watched it. He really loved it. My dad's seen it like probably like fifty times. Yeah, I got never he does nothing. Art, to watch. And then I stopped watching. But um, basically, yeah, it's uh, um, Spartacus, Lala. an old uh, Roman. Lucy Lala. Lala. Yeah, uh, it's about a Roman uh, like slave who becomes um, a fighter and a, gla- a gladiator fighter, and then eventually becomes like a, um, a freer of the slaves. It's actually a historical thing that happened um, before the slaves were finally caught and killed, but Spartacus was never truly found after that. <clears throat> Uh, the sad thing about that show is like the actor who played him originally passed away after the first season. Um, oh yeah. So what they did was they did the first season and then, uh, they, while he was sick with cancer and they weren't sure what was going to happen, they decided instead of waiting for the show to like, uh, possibly lose like any friction and stuff like that attraction, they made a prequel series following some of the other characters. Um, one of which has moved on to do a bunch of different stuff. He ended up in Arrow and stuff like that. But uh, then after that, he had passed, but before he passed, they had already started recasting him because he knew he wasn't, unfortunately, going to live much longer. Uh, and I guess he was a part of like the casting to find his replacement. <clears throat> and then that guy played him for the rest of it. I forget the, guy, the actor's name off the top of my head, but... Um, yeah, same. He the, did a he did a good job. It just it took a bit for people to like kind of warm up to him, but it was a great show overall. One of my favorites for sure. 
can't think of any other shows on stars that were worth it besides that myself yeah uh, I think I haven't even thought of another stars one. Until Kyle just brought it up. Yeah, like uh, I think the uh, one of the next one I'm going to be talking about is also stars, but I have to double check. But yeah, um, passing over to you, Sean. Here's the ball. Oh. You missed. All right. <laughs> missed. Um, all right. So yeah, same here. No particular order. Um, I mean, I don't have my list is not as as long, but uh, let's start with so. Um, Let's start. I want to save the best for last. Uh, let's do let's do a comedy first. Um, so my first will be the the Office, the American U.S. version. I know there was a U.K. version mm. as well, but uh, with Steve Carell and um, uh, so that show. Um, it's a show that I've actually watched uh, a, the complete series, and it's also a show that I can just turn on in the background and and laugh once in a while. I don't watch it as much anymore. I know it's on. I think it's on Netflix. Um, anyways, but. Uh, it was a great cast. I feel like it was a very dry slapstick uh, sense of uh, slapstick comedy. Kind of some you might some people might not find that humor humorous. Like, I mean, I thought just the yeah, I thought <laughs> just the jokes that they pull on each other and the office environment. And it, you would think everybody's so serious, but Steve Carell just made that show hilarious. Like all of them, <clears throat> um, I I love that show. But um, yeah, just a good comedy. Um, it's Went it's an acquired taste. It's it's an acquired taste. Not everyone likes it, but it's one of my favorite comedy <laughs> shows. I have a coworker who literally asks me like every day, "Have you ever watched The Office?" And I go, "No." And then he proceeds to say a joke <laughs> from The Office every day. Basically, <laughs> it's like, dude, <laughs> I'm in the said. um the very very small minority. That liked the show more when Steve Carell left. And then Will Ferrell, <laughs> Steve, Will Steve Carell was my least favorite part of The Office. And I know, I know I'm in the wrong. Or not in the wrong, but like I know I'm the, <laughs> the super no. minority. No, no judges. Like, I, no I love the rest of the cast. They were great, funny, enjoyed them, all had really fun yeah, chemistry. Right. Um, Just I don't feel, Personally, don't feel like any of them had good chemistry with Steve Carell. Jenna Fisher, um, the um, John, uh, what's his name? He John did, Krasinski. Um, he's like the only John guy Krasinski. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The only guy John I know Krasinski. because he has he's an he's keeps acting and plays. directing. No, and he directs. Like no, he directs now. Yeah, he's good. He's good. John uh, Krasinski. Yeah, he just directed. Uh, if. <laughs> yeah, and he also nice. directed the, um, all of the uh the ones where you don't make a sound and the the things kill you. Quiet place. That's Quiet it. place. <clears throat> yeah, those are good. Those are good movies. Bird Cage. Like, no. Yeah. I know no. it's a different one. Yeah, I've seen um, that too. Yeah. But uh, uh yeah, Zach. Oh yeah. Uh so I'll start with let's start with a classic. Scrubs. Hey. Great. Good show. Good show. Oh me some scrubs i watched new episodes every thursday on nbc it was great i loved a, a, a cast with such chemistry just like i see you swear half the stuff's improv sometimes but it's just so damn funny and organic like i i don't know i, I loved every character on that show it had such heart like a lot of the time uh, it was also in that, like, uh, era of TV where, like, towards the end of the episode, they would just have whatever popular song is happening, like, play. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Smallville did that, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. and then it would advertise the song. It was just hilarious. Like, a lot of music uh, just burned into my head because of that. Um, but, yeah, no, it was just such a funny show. And... You know, uh, a topic for a later episode that Kyle uh, has brought up where it's like, hey, you know, what happened to like, you know, uh, like good TV shows that went bad? Mm -hmm. Did that uh, last season of Scrubs go bad? <laughs> I, I never finished Scrubs. Uh, I always yeah, don't. start it. I always How start many seasons it. Are there? Get through like the first maybe season nine. and a half. Nine. There's I think there's nine seasons, <laughs> but stop at eight. Yeah. Nine yeah. is like a, a soft reboot where they all go to uh they all become teachers at a university teaching new like doctors basically. Mm -hmm. And then Zach Braff leaves like two or three episodes in. 
Uh, that's that's so sad and, and disappointing. Yeah. Uh, it was just not good. It was a bad <clears> show. <throat> but, um... Yeah, no, yeah, it, of, uh... It was a good a show. Lot of shows. A lot of shows end like that with a um, not-so-hot. Yeah. It's, it's, it's harder to find a show that went out on a high point than it is to... You know, a show that was good for so long. Oh, excuse me. And failed. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Back up, uh, yeah. To me again. Um, so my next one is Cinemax. I had to look that up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you and all the fucking extracurricular fucking like channels. <laughs> um, Cinemax. So people will know <laughs> the main actor from this because um, he's in a very popular show that is on Amazon right now. Uh, but the show I'm going to talk about right now is Banshee, uh, starring Anthony Starr, the guy who plays Homelander. Um, oh, really? When uh, when was this show? Oh, Banshee? That does sound familiar. 2013 to 2016. Wow. All right. I've never heard of the the guy mm-hmm. that plays Homelander until The Boys. Yeah. So it's just funny that like he so, wasn't something before that. I was like, I was watching The Boys and I'm like, man, he looks hella familiar. And then I looked him up. I'm like, "Oh, it's that guy! Oh, I love that What's show, that freaking guy." Uh, so Banshee is about um, a guy who just gets out of jail. We don't know his name. Uh, spoilers: you never know his name. Um, <clears throat> he finds he goes to this town called Banshee. Um, on his way in, he meets a cop who ends up dying, and then he takes that cop's identity and basically becomes the sheriff of this town. It's kind of like Resident Alien. He takes the doctor's uh, yeah. identity. Takes the doctor, yeah, um, takes that job, yeah. It went for, I think, four seasons? Maybe three? Um, hmm. It involves... It's a very crazy, like, action-crazy show. Um, a lot of, like, cool fights. Um, Nelson, I made him watch that show, too. He actually loves it. We used to make jokes about that show all the time. Um, it, would, it would make a fantastic, like, 2D fighting game spin-off yeah. thing just because all the characters are so absolutely crazy some at points um <clears throat> there's like the other uh, his main like i guess antagonist is an amish guy or an ex-amish guy <laughs> who is like a drug lord <laughs> but he's also like a badass fighter and can use like all sorts of like different weapons and stuff it's it's Should it's done, absolutely ridiculous uh, it's on Max, I believe now. So oh, okay. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, very, very good, fun watch. But uh, Sean, back to you, bud. All right, all right, back to me. So let's. I do have a couple more comedies, but I'll switch to my next show is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Classic. Um, oh, actually, classic. Uh, Sean, pause for yeah. one second. Yeah. Let's give. So Kyle brought up a good point, being like, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um. Let's go through our first round of what we just uh, offered and like rate it like out of ten or something too. Okay. Uh, right. so, so Kyle, your your first was so mine was Spartacus. Um, yep. So to me, that is a fantastic show, and for some people, I can see why they might not be interested in it after like the first or second season. Um, but if you give that other actor a chance, he grows on you very fast. And it's one of those shows, don't judge it by its first episode. Its first episode's kind of dog. But then the rest of the show just <laughs> gets, like, so fucking good. Um, and then some people will say they are, the ending is kind of lackluster. But I thought it was a perfect wrap-up for a movie like that, or a show like that, to base it off of, like, the actual story of Spartacus. So if you know the actual story, it makes it better. Um, so for me, I would probably give it like a nine. Nice. Only because I rack. also think the first episode is also kind of trash. It's <laughs> just hot dog water. Mm-hmm. All right, Sean. Sean, what would you yeah, give? Uh, um, yeah, for would you office, give the office. I would, office, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah, just because all the nostalgia too, watching that in my college <laughs> dorm, you know um l- laughing my ass off at certain parts uh the cast how well you know everybody in the show it's you know just and it was only a it was only um 20 you know half hour 20 minute half hour episodes with the, with the ads with the commercials so <clears throat> did, you, did you say 20 minute half hour episode 
<laughs> 20 minutes to a half hour. If you don't, oh, watch, okay. if, you watch, if you watch it on streaming without ads, it's 20 minutes an episode, roughly. Yeah, because of all the commercial breaks. All the commercial something. Yeah, yeah. I don't even say it was like 20 episode, like half hour, like <laughs> episodes. <laughs> uh, no, but it was. I would give it an eight out of ten. Definitely one of my nice. best comedies. Uh, for me, Scrubs. I mean, it was just it was so damn funny. They. Although, like, I definitely, I don't know how the humor holds up now. So uh, I'd probably it's go pretty good. Say, I, I rewatched part of it, like, two, three years ago. I'd say if you stop at season eight. Um, uh, I stopped at, like, season two. That's fine. Um, <laughs> probably give it, I'd probably give it an eight. I, 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 I'd be safe, I'd say. If you, include, episode, if you include the last season, what would you give if it? If I include the last season, it probably goes down to like a six and a half, seven. Ouch. Damn, um, that hits hard. If that last season's real fucking bad. You don't give a crap about any of the characters <laughs> in that show at that point. Um, but I, I, you know, we just you throw that season out. It's a, I, I'd say it's a solid eight. Uh, and then I guess I'll go with my other ones and yep. say only have one other so far. Um, yes. So for Banshee, um, whew, Banshee's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, ooh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, oof, like a ten almost. Maybe like a nine okay. point, yeah, nine point, 10. like nine point nine. Are <laughs> oh, you holding on to that ten? You keeping it close? No, I just don't feel like it should be considered perfect because there's everything's got flaws. Fair enough. All right, now, Sean, ba- John, back to you. All right, so my next one is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's a, mm-hmm. one of the best 90s action. I would, I would say it's an action horror slash comedy. It's just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's, it's considered. It falls like into that. a lot of. Uh, yeah. I, I don't, don't know if everything. comedy is their main goal, but it definitely hits comedy sometimes. But it's yeah, more of an action. It's more of an action horror. Yeah, because it's a lot of fighting. And obviously she's a vampire slayer. She's a vampire hunter. I'm gonna say um, action thriller, yeah, drama, yeah, um, splash of I, horror. Number number one, Sarah Michelle Gellar. She's a total babe. Um, uh, you know the great great cast, but not only her, the, the rest of the cast. Uh, Seth Green is actually in that show. Um, yeah, he, he uh, is in that show. <laughs> yep. Um, the, I had to look it up, but the librarian Niles. He's the. I love the librarian. Um, which he's the. Oh, uh, what's his? Um, anyways, I don't want to get sidetracked. But um, David David Bernays, he's Angel, so yep. it leads into Got the show own. Angel. Yep. Uh, back in, so led, led into that show. Loved Angel. Know, she had that. She had that love interest with him, and she, it was one of those she couldn't date him because he's a vampire, but they liked each other and all that. They so the little romance in that show, but um, every every episode every episode was entertaining. Every, every you know. Um, I need to go back and rewatch the whole series, which I, I just don't have time for that. But I, I try to watch it. It's on. I think it's on Amazon right now. But um, yeah, maybe I don't. Know. I mean, every the uh, the high school kids of Sunnyvale town is called Sunnyvale. They obviously they're, um, they're up against these vampires. They all meet in the library and they, and they have to you know they they pretty much go out on, at night and have to save the town and rescue people and fight the vampires. But, um. Definitely one of my favorite shows. I would get. I would definitely give that at least a nine. I would give it a nine. Um, and I just love how it's just she's just trying to live her normal life, regular high school kid, but she's also this crazy vampire super uh, slayer, like superhero, like just awesome, like badass. Like she's she's a badass. <laughs> um, but I love the cast. Uh, what's the uh, from American Pie? Um, Allison Her- um, Hannigan. She's widow. She's the best friend, or she's the and then just that group of the core four, like the librarian, Niles, uh, Willow, uh, Buffy, Angel. Uh, Angel actually helps them. And then the I forget the friend's name. He's a regular. He's like a regular guy, but he tries to help. But he's um, uh, Nicholas Bren Xander. That's right, Xander. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's enough about that. Love that show. Well, I would, I would don't forget about that. James Marsters or uh, Masters Marsters, who is uh, Spike. Yes. Oh yes. yes, Spike. Yep. Who was also yep. King Piccolo in Dragon Ball Evolution. Uh, uh, uh. And also Zamos. 
in Dragon Ball Super. And Giles <laughs> is the Anthony Head. He's the librarian. That's right, Giles. Yeah. Uh, he's probably my, one of my favorite characters, the librarian, the teacher. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, nice. Definitely, definitely a 9 out of 10. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to hit next, then, with Sushits Creek. I got a lot of comedies on mine. Um, I have, like, yeah, one cre- comedy on mine. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of, like, action, like, high-end, like, random channels. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're very, you're varied. Um, uh, yeah, no, Shits Creek. <clears throat> Super funny. Super funny. I'm just gonna cut straight to the straight to the rating, nine and a half out of ten for as far as the comedy goes. Nice show was funny nice. as hell. Nice. Um, that was a rich Netflix family. Show, right? Netflix, yeah, rich family loses all their money, has to go to some like crappy little town called Shit's Creek, and they just kind of have to try to make a living there. And the town is just filled with a bunch of like weirdo people, and also not weirdo people, but like. The the family's honestly more weird than anybody else, just because, you know, rich people are freaks. Um, but yeah, it's a it's such a good dynamic of characters. Um the the dad from uh American Pie that Sean brought up earlier was the, the dad in the show. Oh, he's so funny. Um uh, Oh uh, and then oh um what's his name? He's a good actor too. He is. Uh, hold on. Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy. Yes, Eugene Levy. And then I believe yeah. his son actually plays his son in the show too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he's a great. He's a hilarious. Yeah, actor. Daniel Levy. Yeah. <laughs> and Catherine Catherine O'Hara plays the mom. She's so dang funny. Um, but yeah, no. Zach, is it still on Netflix? It should be. Yeah, it's a Netflix yeah. original. I think. No, I it's I... not a Netflix original. They. Who? I think was it IFC or something. CBC television, that's what it was, okay. Um, but yeah, no, it was Canadian broadcasting, that's right. Yeah, it's on uh, um, Hulu. Oh, it's on Hulu? Okay. Um, yeah, no, super funny. Definitely, definitely watch. Nine and a half. Love that show. Dope, dope, dope. And it's short. It's three seasons, and they're like short episodes. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. It's not short. There are 80 episodes? When did that happen? <laughs> Ah, wow. I do not remember that. Six seasons? Really? Did we watch that many? Oh, my God. All right. It was just that <laughs> good that it was a blur. Hey, that's always a good thing, though. Yeah. But yeah, back to uh, back up to you. Sweet, sweet. All right. So. I think I've almost found a way to almost play off half of these to the next one. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> my next one, because I was already talking about Banshee and Anthony Starr, might as well continue on into The Boys, which also has Anthony mm-hmm. Starr, who plays Homelander. Um, the Boys, if you haven't um, heard of it before, it is bas- it's basically a superhero show, but what if they're actually just kind of pieces of shits, for the most part? What if superheroes, but jerks? Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's kind of a comedy, like a dark. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> it's super messed up. Um, but it's like that Sounds dark like bullies. <laughs> More than mm. that. More than that. Uh, it's uh, it's on Amazon. It's an Amazon original or whatever they call it. Um, there's three seasons out right now with a fourth on the way. Something like that, and a couple spinoffs. Or is it four seasons? Yeah, there? there's a couple spinoffs. They have like an animated spinoff. They have the uh, the school, the college uh, yeah, one. Yeah, Gen Gen Five. Um, Gen Five. They had to, I guess, rewrite the entire like show around that one actor who passed away. Oh, um, I didn't even know about one that. One of the one of the main actors like passed away, I guess. Um, and instead of recasting him, they're just gonna work around it. Yeah. That's kind of cool that they decided. You know, hey, no, nobody else should play that role. But um, it's uh, it's a fantastic show. Um, essentially, it's just about like some normal people who are sick of superheroes being able to get away with everything and anything that they do, including killing people, innocent people. Um, and you just see like a dark side of like superheroes when they have powers and they're kind of just assholes because they can do whatever the hell they want. <clears throat> 
Um, I would probably give that a good solid eight out of ten, though, because nice. um, it's it's a fun show. is It's a very fun show to watch. It's one of those you could watch it and talk around like the as they used to say the water cooler in the <laughs> office, nice. and whatnot. Um, but I highly I recommend it. it. Send me your list, guys. By the way, after this, because <laughs> a lot of shows that I haven't seen, so I want this is good. This is good for me too to watch on the side. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, definitely. All right, Sean. Balls in your right, court. Next, next up for me is going to be uh, a Netflix. This is a Netflix original. It's called Mind Hunters. Um, so it's pretty much a true crime uh, based on the. It's based on 1995 true crime inside the FBI's elite ser- uh, serial crime unit. Uh, that's a uh, the book by uh, John Douglas. Um, so pretty much it's based on two FBI agents that pretty much. Uh, started back in the back in the uh, late '60s, uh, mid seven through the mid '70s, the behavioral science unit of the of the FBI because they had to shift, they had to catch these serial killers, which is becoming a thing, which is kind of scary. But they had to uh, use behavioral science and use psychology to study them and try to prevent this from happening again because the old school cops did not want to. Think about psychology. Think about serial killers and their what causes them to do it, and what's like they never wanted to study them. They just wanted to look at the evidence and look at, you know, oh well, it point to this, or we found evidence here, or or whatnot. But uh, great show. It just they and in the show they actually uh, they actually interview like Ed Kemper and all these weird serial killers, which I like true crime stuff. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just one of those shows that. I watched like I was just so hooked because you're sitting. It's it's just oh, it's just. I mean, and it's good to see that point in history too, where they actually had to uh, to s- assemble teams to, which is sad because it just people. It's just uh, it was just a scary time. There's still serial killers today, but that's when it started. They like had all these like Ted Bundy, uh, Ed Kemper, all these freaking maniacs that were just running loose across the country. And back then too, the cops did not work together. Uh, there was no internet. There was no, uh, it was kind of like, um, like there was kind of this like dominant mentality, like, Oh, this is, I'm, I'm, this is my town. I don't need your help. We're not going to collaborate. Spoilers. They this still is... don't collaborate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but it's just, uh, just such an awesome show. Um, I would, I would give that a nine out of 10. Um, so the show is based, the two FBI agents in the show are, uh, Bill Trent, Bill Tench. Well, that's his character name. And let me just check. I just had it up. He's actually in. He's actually the. Fa- he's a great actor. Holt McCal- um, McCalney. He's the father in Iron Claw. If you've seen Iron Claw, uh, love that actor. And uh, Harris uh, Holden Ford is the other uh, FBI agent. But uh, Holt, McCa- Holt McCalney plays like the old school guy. Like, it's like I I don't believe in this, but like, but the nerdy guy, the nerdy guy, like that's behind the fa- like trying to study them is like, oh, this, he's like realizing like, oh, this, we, this is, this is a thing. Like we need to, we need to, we need to do this. Like we need to assemble a team and to get to study these guys and find out why they're doing it and sit in the prison across a table from them. Are these maniacs that like are in prison that were murdered all these innocent people. And they're just trying to like ask these questions and get, get personal with them, which is so creepy. Like to sit across from a table and ask them these questions. It's like, it's messed up. <laughs> But let me just tell you, the real FBI agents were um, based off Robert uh, Robert uh, Ressler. He's the FBI Behavioral Science Unit. Uh, he was he created it. Um, and Ann Burgess, she was a uh, professor, which joined their team. So there was three of them. There were two agents and a, uh, a professor that were pretty much that was the start of the the Behavioral Science Unit and the FBI. But I just love that show because it's based off, also based off real events, uh, based off true stories. And yeah, it's messed up, though. Very messed up. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that was a long one, but I love that show. Uh, I, I would give it a nine, a nine and a half. Yeah, no, I'll change it to a nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I think uh, my next one, then, is going to be uh, Only Murders in the Building. Uh, Hulu show, very good. Uh, all-star cast, Steve Martin, Martin Short, Selena Gomez. Um, 
They're Damn. just three people living in a, a ritzy uh, building in New York. And, uh, yeah, someone gets murdered in their uh, their building. And uh, they, they make a true crime podcast and try to solve the murder. Because they all kind of had, like, weird interactions with the victim and, like, whatnot. And they're like, let's see if we can figure it out. Because the cops rule it, like, an accident or suicide. But they're like, no, there's definitely something weird that we noticed on, like, the day of his death that, like, the cops clearly aren't getting. But um, it's funny. It's thrilling. Um, the first season's so compelling. Second season's okay. Third season's all... It's, like, it's kind of on a down, but, like, the first season's just so damn good. Like, I would have been okay if it was just one season. Um... <clears throat> They have a lot of like fun guests too. Season three was Paul Rudd. Oh wow! Um, he was he was in there. Um, they had Nathan Lane in season mm-hmm. one. Love him. Um, but yeah, they're uh, they're all zany personality types. Really good show. Um, if it was just season one, honestly, a nine with the other two seasons, call it seven and a half, eight. Yeah, sometimes okay. that happens, brings it down. Well, yeah. I mean, you could also bring that up again and. <laughs> There's another season call. coming out. I always wonder when it's going to end. Because, uh, like, any season... Because, like, how many people are getting murdered in this building? Um, a lot. All of them. A lot of people are getting murdered in the building. Eventually, there will be no people left to murder in that building. True. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no. It's uh, real damn good. <laughs> Definitely recommend watching it. If you just want to watch the first season, you pretty much just have to watch the first season, and you're good. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, so for me, uh, another Amazon show. Uh, so instead of uh, talking about the boys, we're going to talk about uh, Upload. Um, don't know if anybody, any of you, have heard of this one. Um, Upload. Yes. So it's about the whole idea that uh, death is not the end, and you can have a digital afterlife. Hence the word upload, meaning your consciousness and everything gets uploaded to these different servers where you basically live in a digital paradise of an afterlife. Um, It follows uh, this main character who was basically making a free version of a digital afterlife where you and your family could host it yourself. And he ends up mysteriously getting into a car accident. And the next thing he knows is he's getting uploaded to one of the most ritzy, uh, fancy upload at digital afterlifes. Um, it's, uh, it's actually Sean, are you getting this issue? Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was coming in and out. It's coming in and yeah, out. For, That's for, just yeah, Discord. Were... Um, but I don't okay. know why. Um, okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, because I'm, I'm separately recording the audio. So. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Excellent. Um, but mainly it's essentially, so digital afterlife and it's, it's a comedy essentially what it is. Um, the guy's trying to figure out like how he died. Cause for some reason his memories are, some of his memories are gone. Um, and it just follows, uh, the main character, uh, some Coming digital, in, some assistance. I don't know it's why it's like clipping. Um, have to do a whole thing to try and fix it right now i don't know why it's clipping though <clears throat> but um yeah i have seen that show now that you i think you referred it i think you recommended yeah. it to me and listen, yeah I, it's it's a good it. one it's a good one amazon right uh, it yeah amazon. it's amazon okay. uh the main actor is uh robbie amell um it's a good show yeah oh cml's yeah. brother yes uh yep the guy from um arrow Yes, and uh, he was also in... He plays a lot of, like, only one seasons and usually in shows. This one's been going for, so far, three. Um, there should be a fourth coming. Um, but the best character in that show is a guy named Luke. He's, like, a veteran who's in that digital mm-hmm. afterlife. He's played by uh, Kevin Bigley. Funny. Bigley. Funny dude. Funny dude. I don't know what else he's in, but I need to, f- I need to check out some of his other shows that he might be in, because he is hilarious. Uh, I would give that show probably, though, only like a 7 overall. All right. I mean, it's it's good. Um, It's not like a, you definitely need to watch this type of a show before you, like, die or something. Mm-hmm. But 
if you if you're ever on on Amazon and you're looking for something to watch, uh, highly recommend it. All right. <clears throat> nice. All right, back to back me. To you, Shani. All right, so next up, um, I'm gonna play around. Uh, my so next too. up for me <laughs> is uh, Stranger Things. Um, this show is a ten out of ten for me. Uh, one of my favorite shows on Netflix, but the they, I feel like they're just dragging it out at this point. Like the kids are getting too old, and you know the first couple seasons were a ten out of ten. The last couple seasons, the one the, the most recent season when they when they um, have to rescue Hopper from uh, from Russia. Well, well, they um, did spoil everything. Yeah. Just give us like yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't well, jump right into the final season. Well, the most recent season is kind of brings it down. Like, um, <clears> but <throat> I mean. Um, everything about that show, the the kids, especially season one, when their friend goes missing, and, um, and season one was a phenomenon. Like that, that yeah. took the like world by storm. That was such yeah. a good season. I'm, a, of television. I'm gonna be honest. I was not paying attention for a few seconds there. What show are we talking about? Uh, Stranger so, Things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the all the all the kids, Mike, Lucas. Um, well, Max comes in later, but. Um, uh, David David Harper, the chief uh, chief Harper, uh, everyone in that show. Give me just then, more Steve and more Robin. That's all I need. Yeah, the so that that was that was season two or season three when they're in the mall. I the um the ice cream the ice cream shop. Oh, I love that season. That was um, three. three. That was three. Yes, that was three. Yeah, because and then two was uh two was Billy right. Or two, was was Billy. Billy. two was yeah, Billy. Two was Billy. Yes. Billy. Two is yeah. two is good. Three was, three was a continuation of Billy. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Or yeah, was okay. um Wait. Was it two seasons of Billy? No. I think it was two seasons of Billy. Okay, hold on. So season one was them it's... and eleven. Season two was that girl Max coming in to the school oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah, that was her older brother. Yes. yes, Billy. Yeah, Max and was... then I think Billy's story comes to a head three, and then Max deals with it season four. Yes, yes, yes. And, and season two, Russia. The um, oh, Russia. <laughs> the underrated uh, doctor there. Paul, uh, his his real name is Paul Reiser. Uh, he starts dating. Uh, he starts dating uh, Will's mother, <laughs> which Hopper and her Hopper and, and her have a thing towards. They've always had a thing for each other, but. And then they kill him off in the in the. Um, in all right, the, well, so you don't have to. You're talking way too many spoilers spoiling right now. We're the being whole vague. Thing. You're like just you're doing all the major plot points of the seasons. Just talk <laughs> about the first season. <laughs> well, spoiler: if you haven't seen Stranger Things, I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> a little late now. Leave out Sean's entire Stranger Things and just write, just keep in Sean like Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, the whole I mean, the whole cast is kind of hard not to talk about spoilers with that show, but because uh, mm. it's awesome, but. I, I've been um, avoiding spoilers for all the other shows that should have been hard for. <laughs> yeah, but you have to check it out. Uh, I'll I'll give it a, I'll give that a ten. Ten, ten. All right? Like that, ten overall? Like you think all four seasons are a ten? I think the show is a ten, but I'm I know season four is not as strong, but I'm still going to give the show a ten. I think season <laughs> one and four have the strongest seasons, and I think two and three are hot dog water. Oh, I, I think like, I like two. I like three. Th three is only good solely because of um, Stephen Robin. Yeah, Stephen Robin. That they carried that best, season. That whole mall season. Best sucked characters. So hard. Best characters. But they, but they made it worth. The finale it. was good. The finale was good. <sighs> Steve is my favorite character in that whole series. Oh yeah, absolutely. Breakout. I was so almost heartbroken so many times in season four. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, mine's Hopper, <laughs> Hopper, and the mother. Um, no, they're good too. Yeah, yeah. That's why am I drawing a blank on her? Character? Good, good characters. I just, yeah, I just think story wise, Joyce, those middle seasons. Uh, Joyce, just... Joyce, Joyce Byers. <laughs> we'll see how this yeah. final season is. Oh no, no, right, take... right. Yep, yep. Final season, which is going to be coming mm. next year, and they yeah, when they're all thirty. They already said how they're going to release it, so it's going to take like two extra years or an extra year just to come out fully, because they're doing it in like Whatever. three parts. Yeah, I'll need... watch it five years later. Yeah, well, three parts, jeez, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, is there anything else, Sean, about that one? No, I gave enough spoilers. 
I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited about that show. But yeah, uh, I'm going to stop on that because I'll keep talking spoilers. <laughs> All right, so this one I was going to talk about last, but honestly, the more I thought about it, I flip-flopped. So my next one, Community. Okay. Nice. Was- Absolutely good TV. I was about to say solid, but they have those last couple of seasons. Mm. Um, so many of mine, I feel like, are like, it's so strong, and then like the last season or two, it just... But... um. I mean, what a what a cast of freaks. Joel McHale, Danny Pudi, um, Donald Glover, Allison Brie, Gillian Jacobs, uh, Yvette Nicole Brown, and then Shuri Shuri. Um, like, just absolute mad people. Like, it's it's the six seasons in a movie. It's six seasons in a movie, and they're making that movie. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was I gonna say? Um. It's like the like TV, like the primetime Always Sunny. Like, they're all terrible people. Oh, yeah. But, like, uh, the, eh, the, the... Arguable. They're There's all... Like, uh, I wouldn't say who are you trying Abed to say Abed are really terrible. No, Abed's really bad, honestly. He's the, on the, the spectrum. He, like, Watch what you say. <laughs> Listen, the way he manipulates people into doing things and like his weird narratives that he creates, he's he's he does some stuff. Uh and and Troy is very Don Glover's character is very toxic in the beginning and then becomes more like relatable and nerdy as time goes yeah. on. Um yeah. but like they he's they're like, all they're all messed up. And I'm I, I too, love I'm too, I'm too good for this. Yeah. Um because he was like coming in like high school jock and like having that mentality, but then him and Abed fuse into a character and it just becomes amazing. Um, but yeah, like love the character dynamic between all of them. Yeah, the, it's friends. Yeah, it's so good. Like the the way they become this weird dysfunctional codependent family. Like yeah, <laughs> it's so Chase's funny. Name again in the show? Uh, Pierce Hawthorne. Pierce, right? Pierce, Pierce. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the weakest of the characters, <laughs> arguably. Yeah, and you know that I, I like, that like that's it. a whole nother topic. We could we could talk a whole podcast about community and just like how Chevy Chase brought it down for everybody else. That show probably could have been amazing without him. Come on, no, um, don't hate on don't from hate the start. Chase. Don't hate on Chevy Chase. What do you mean? Don't hate on Chevy Chase. He's a Cuban piece of garbage, and I will go on record saying that the He's dude crazy. literally made it. Filming that show hell for everybody else. Yeah. Well, in the show, and he's, he's racist. Well, in the show, he's funny. I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's he's old. Like I don't know that that he was like the biggest like he was old. their biggest protagonist. No antagonist. Antagonist. Sorry, antagonist of that show. He was always uh, fighting Joel them. McHale, <laughs> Jeff Winger. He was the protagonist. Yeah. Um But uh, yeah, no, yeah, he, yeah, it was that thing where it's like him and um, Ken Jong. Uh, would become the villains of that show like yeah, every other episode. But at least Ken Jong was like still kind of funny. Oh yeah, no, he was funny and like... Well, he know, had the hangover. He was coming out of the hangover, so... Mm. And then also, one of the biggest standouts of that whole cast was Jim Rash as the uh, as the prince, as the, the dean. The dean. Dean, 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 dean. Like, <laughs> it's so funny every time he was on screen. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that, the, that show was damn funny. And, like, all the side characters all had such personality. Starburns. Ah. Starburns, like... Mm. Dan, <laughs> Harmon, so many... Dan Harmon is kind of a genius. He's he's something. <laughs> he's also something, but, yeah, he yeah. he really put this together. Um, hey, we wouldn't have is... things like Tim and Eric without him. Yeah, well, okay. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna be the minority here. Don't like Tim and Eric. He's um, he's just a lot of TV shows though because I, I don't. I just I don't like disgusting comedy and like their like <laughs> part of their like comedy is just a gross factor and I'm just like I don't like it. I like Tim um, and That's fair. It's an I, awesome show. Great in. job. <laughs> oh, <you> did. Um. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, community, like, 
I'm singing its praises like I'm going to give it a 10 and I feel like I'm uh, I think I can give it an eight and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty fair, especially uh, yeah. those last two seasons after like the show got dropped originally by uh, what was it, Fox or ABC or whatever. Uh, no, it was on it was on NBC, N- NBC and then it got NBC and then it got dropped um, and then it got picked up by Yahoo yes. for that final season. Um, yeah. And they just took it off Netflix. Yeah. And they yeah. They also had the switch mm-hmm. outs for uh Chevy Chase when he left the show. Uh yeah. Jonathan Banks and uh my boy Keith David. Keith David was probably the better of <laughs> he, he was guys. really good. Yeah. <laughs> um he the worst really the worst was when you lose Troy. Once he left, so once Donald Glover left, yeah. That show took a huge dive. Huge yeah, dive. you you lost the one of the biggest power dynamics. Oh yeah, and that was him coming right off of just doing his like web series stuff and whatnot. Truly, yeah, I know he was just like kind of breakout. I mean, well, he had, I mean, he had Childish Gambino, and he had yeah. his Netflix. Uh, he had like his comedy specials and whatnot. And then he left to and go then... start. His, um, what was it? What's the other show? Uh, oh, Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. I have to watch that still. Yeah. I heard great things about that. I, it's it's been on my list, man. It's been on my <laughs> list. Yeah, we got off on a tangent anyway. Uh, so you said uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll give it. Nice. Sweet. All right, back to you. <laughs> back to me. We're we're gonna blast to the past here. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Let's go. Live action. Go go Power Rangers. We're sticking to live action. Huh. Did, did you just ask if Power Rangers was live action, Sean? The show no. that uses live actors from no, cartoon, and cuts in like from Jet. But, what? No, it's not a cartoon. Cartoons are. I mean, I guess That's... you could say it's a cartoon, well, but it's, it's not animation. a cartoon. It's, it's... What? It, it, yeah, it's not animated. Not like, really. It's, it's people in suits. It's, yeah. it, it's a Saturday morning cartoon, which I guess yeah. is like, show. Well, it was a Saturday it, morning it was, show, no, it but it wasn't a cartoon. It's a Saturday morning show. It's, it was, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm on your side, Kyle. It's live action. That's the, it's the, it's the, all live action. <laughs> it, it is. I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's I don't know where the cartoons part or that Sean is thinking of. I don't know if it's well, that or if he's thinking Voltron. Other, I'm thinking of one of the other shows. Yeah, Voltron. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. so, the original um, was the original was yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, Mm -hmm. Probably one of the biggest inspirations of my life. For a show. Oh, yeah. Um, Great show. show. Fantastic, fantastic show. Um, We watched... We watched it kind of recently, a few years ago. Um, Long first series because it was so popular. Went for over, like, 50 episodes. The first season was 50 episodes. And Mighty Morphin was, I think, three seasons long. Yes, the the other two seasons were a little shorter, and I know they had to order Japan to make new stuff. For they them did because because it was so popular. Classically, yeah, because um, uh, they used half the footage from a uh, good old Sentai from yes. uh, Japan. So essentially, what it was was it was some American uh, like TV show sitcom. Is that what the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like a um, Saved by the Bell, which is even older than us, kind of meets uh, Kung Fu. Yeah, superhero Kung Fu. Uh, basically, it's uh, five teenagers with attitude um, who are given the basically the power to transform into what is known as the Power Rangers, uh, which gives them super suits to fight evil. And it was one of those... Where like, is my super suit? The Weekly Monster... Um, type of thing. Uh, had one of the best actors who unfortunately um, passed away a few years ago, uh, Jason David Frank, who uh, has one movie coming out uh, sometime this year. Found out that his uh, daughter's actually in that movie, too. Oh, good for her. Um, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, just talking about that show, and this isn't even talking about like the Netflix movie that they made or anything like that not including any of that probably a good 9.5 out of 10 for me nice uh fantastic show don't 
no if i mean if you're if you're okay with like the cheesiness which is the whole point of that show then def- definitely check it out i know they i think they still have it on uh netflix right the first season series oh i don't know and i know they kind of did like a recut of it which kind of meh but have to check the original i just looked up the stats real quick three seasons 145 episodes oh my god and then oh my god and then the recut was 32 episodes okay so probably watch the recut even if it's meh don't watch the recut they they add weird like little like sound effect like it's almost like comic booky like they like oh. add all these weird effects in there that like don't belong uh, i was like, just hoping not... you took out like filler episodes because there's a lot of filler no episodes that you can take it, out I, they, they might have cut out episodes too but like they they <laughs> added stuff it's just ugh. yeah when i re-watched it i found like a guide online that basically says check these episodes out they're kind of like the main story episodes and that's yeah. what i was going by to watch them you can also watch them on uh youtube they should all be up there uh, official uh, yes the we, youtube you can watch a yeah they, they were official they, they might have everything now uh they might have all the power ranger stuff now because it's been a few years yeah because i was watching some of them back then like i watched wild force zeo um i started watching <sighs> Lightspeed force. rescue yeah i think i left off right after what was it the second space one lost in space a uh, lost galaxy lost galaxy that's where I left off. The I Rangers finished up the... Lost Hey, yeah, careful, careful. We don't want to get demonetized. I know, that was spot on. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, should I just quickly mention some of my uh, honorable mentions since that's the fifth one for me, I guess? Uh, yeah. Let's me and Sean do, do ours do real quick. First. And then, okay. we'll just, we'll, then we'll just do one burst with uh, each of us. We'll just put throw our honorable okay. mentions good. out. Sounds good. Sean? Yes. Oh, I've done Dragon Swords in your court. Um. Okay, my last because then I'll do all my honorable mentions. But yeah, my last one that I love ten out of ten is gonna be Lost. Okay, Lost was revolutionary. Like it was an ABC I show. The first episode. Um, that was it. Uh, I came was out lost. Two, Wait, came out in the mid. Came out in the mid two thousands. Uh, I think it was like oh four that it launched. It, it's uh, something like that. It was. Fun- I, I know it was a phenomenon. Like there is a lot of shows yeah. we talked about that were like the like, and it was just the way it was the way it was written was so good. Like you get to see like obviously there I'm not gonna no spoilers I promise but it's oh, just such a, mind, it's such, it's such, it's such a it's such a mind fuck uh, because you have to watch you have to watch every season every season has a twist so there's a huge cliffhanger and you're just and I'm glad that I would have gone nuts if I had watched that show live like every week. I would have gone absolutely nuts because that was the like water Shaman. cooler show. My uh, my college roommate, um, we watched it in like 2010 or 20, uh, 2011 or something like that. Uh, 2010. He's like, "Oh, you got to watch the show." I'm like, I, "I've I've heard of Lost." I'm like, "I just wasn't into it," and he just got me hooked. And I didn't really watch it when it was live every week on ABC. I think it was an ABC show, um, but yeah, it was. The last season held it back, um, so I'm actually I'm giving out too many tens tonight. Um, the last <laughs> season held the way that it ended. I'm actually going to bring it back down to a nine because the last season was horrible. But my favorite seasons were probably the fourth one. Um, not going to say why. You have to watch it, and probably the fifth one. Um, but every it's just such a twist, and then the whole the whole writing the way that you can learn to uh see everyone all the flashbacks that's all i'm going to say all the flashbacks are so cool but um that's all i'm going to say about lost you have to watch it and also do flashbacks a... one piece yeah yeah <laughs> um so that's my five and then i'll talk my honorable mentions but yeah i'm going to give lost um i'm going to give it a nine because of nine. the last season was and the way they ended it was horrible all right, my final one. What we do in the shadows? Ooh, I only watched the movie. Such. So I showed you the movie. I think. Yes. We watched it at my house. I've seen it a couple times. Now. Um, yeah, uh, that was probably my like third or fourth viewing of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that's where I started. I, I watched the movie and then uh, found out Hulu was doing a TV series about it. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And then uh, I think I started watching it um, when the second season had started airing. Um, blew through the first season. What a funny, weird, compelling show. Like, all star cast, like... <laughs> Like just the whole show is just about vampires living in uh New York. Nice. And uh it's just they're the weirdest bunch of like vampire time people. displaced people. Like yeah. they they like they it's not like they time travel, like they've just lived long lives, but they've just have not assimilated whatsoever yeah. into culture. <laughs> and is so it, it's just like Is it the same cast as the movie? It's not the same cast as the movie. the The cast of the movie makes an appearance, um, uh, okay. but they That's other they vampires. are not the main characters. It's new people. You got Matt Barry, uh, Natasha. Um, oh God, these are rough names. Uh, Dimitiro. Um, then you got Kevin Novak, Harvey um, Gullion. God, Mark Porkst. Jesus, these names are rough. <laughs> <laughs> These are the character but, um, names, or no? These are their real life names. Oh, these are their names. Their their other names are easy: Laszlo, Naja, Nandor the Relentless, Guillermo, Colin Robinson. Those are easy names. Why don't they just go by <laughs> those names forever? Forever, like it's it's just so funny. Like the their just just the way they exist is just hilarious to watch. Like they're all really horny. That's also very funny. Uh, you've got um, good old little Guillermo. He's the uh, uh, familiar to uh, one of the other vampires, Nandor, and his whole dream is he just wants to be a vampire. And then, you know, after a certain amount of time, a familiar is supposed to become a vampire. And one of the big running jokes is just like, they're not going to turn him into a vampire. They all kind of like, they don't hate him. Like, he's like part of like the family, but like, he's like the, you know, stepchild no one wants wasn't, wasn't that a similar gag that they had in the movie i think so they did have um they had like a guy that was like familiar. serving them and was a familiar yeah. and wanted to be a vampire but they were like we're never gonna make him a vampire because we hate yeah, him. yeah pretty much <laughs> and we can't wait for him um, to die <laughs> one of the one of the standout characters uh colin robinson is so funny he's an energy vampire so his whole thing is that he doesn't suck blood he steals life energy by just talking to people and being really boring and monotone. <laughs> so like his whole thing, he's just like, like he's just basically going to start like reading a Wikipedia page to someone. And they're just like, <laughs> just slowly like dying. And he's just like, his whole thing is like his eyes glow blue and he's like having a good time. He's go, yeah. And like, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, Matt Barry Laszlo is probably the best character on the show though he has such an accent on that show and like he's just got this wild ass personality he's so funny uh this gets an absolute 10 out of 10 for me there hasn't been a bad season yet and i think nope. they're i think the next season's the last season so we'll see oh. how it ends nice but yeah. as of right now solid 10 out of 10 for me love all the characters all the goofy ass situations they get into are so funny like it's so good. Did you um? Do you see that other show that uh, what's his face has from the uh the movie? It's that director, the one that did like Thor and all that. I think I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. Oh um, Taika. Oh my god, now why am I drawing? Taika. Yeah, Taika, yeah. TD, yeah. Um, uh, do you ever see his pirate show? A show right now? Oh yeah, I have seen his pirate show. Um, I oh watched, my god, what is that called now? I watched half of it. I. I got around to loved it. the first season so much of that show. That show was hilarious. Like the it was gay so funny. pirates or whatever it was. Yeah. Um. Uh, God, what's that show called? Uh, it's like uh, it's something sales. I feel like. Yeah. Some TV shows. Uh, oh no! Um, our flag means death. Our flag means death. That's right. That's Only like one of them wants to actually be a pirate, and the rest are kind of just there. Yeah, it's just the uh, the main guy just wants to be. Well, they all they all they're all pirates. It's just that one guy like is doing it because kind of he's like a dandy, be, yeah. and he's just like 
he wanted freedom and the best way to get freedom was to be a pirate and like yes. he had money so he was able to get a crew and a ship together and everything but like he's like doesn't know what he's doing and is super incompetent yes and then his crew has to like help him and everything and then taika is uh blackbeard and then that whole dynamic's just wild yes <laughs> Um, and then man. season one ends so tragically yeah, and finished. i haven't watched season two yet but uh that's also on the list nice um so for my honorable mention um mm -hmm. we got ozark yep nice mm -hmm. uh nice show about um, um a family who has to go to the ozarks because uh <laughs> are you laughing because i said nice show <laughs> yeah, he said it's a nice show, but a nice family. <laughs> <laughs> Who, uh, you know, the <laughs> husband was uh, um, a money launderer. <laughs> a yeah. nice, a nice money launderer doing nice a things nice show with the money for the for the cartel. Oh my god! <laughs> so they end up in the so Ozarks funny. instead of dying <laughs> because it's nice of the uh, the cartel to let them live. Mm -hmm. Did you finish for, it? Yes, I did. I have not finished it. I have to watch the last season still. Okay, same, I mean, I it not, was... I have not finished either, but great show. It was a good ending. It was honestly a good ending, overall. Oh, yeah, good. I'm, endings I, are I tough. Endings list. are tough, so, like... Mm. And yeah. that's that's what sucks. It's like, it's like, does a show become, like... When sh and the show's last season, or, like, last season or two, does, like, the whole show decline, or is it just that the ending is hit or miss, and it kind of makes everything else feel less than? That'll be discussed in the, that, uh, that topic. Yeah, in the other to one. Yeah, that's um, good I also want to talk about uh, Breaking Bad a little bit. It's, uh, only an honorable mention? It's only an honorable mention. Um, mainly because I kind of didn't like the last couple seasons. It probably didn't help that I, like, binged the hell out of it. But I feel like better, better Call Saul's better. I was just gonna say Better Call. It kind of started to uh, kind of fall flat a little bit mm -hmm. uh, near the end there. Um, but basically, yeah, Breaking Bad's about a nice uh, school teacher. Nice school teacher <laughs> who decides to make some nice blue meth <laughs> <laughs> to sell to the nice meth heads. Oh money. my goodness! All these got, really nice shows. He's got you're some watching. really nice Big family cancer. values. <laughs> he throws a nice pizza on the roof. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna move on to a show I just I literally just finished watching uh, yesterday. Uh, Shogun, mm. Shogun from Hulu. Fantastic Shogun. show. Um, based off a book. I'm not sure if it's actually based off anything actually historical. A Probably historical book? people. You think I'm reading? But um, essentially, it's uh, a Englishman sails with his crew to the Japan's, and um, ends up basically working under one of like the heads of Japan at a time when there is no shogun because uh, they're waiting for the heir to the last shogun to come of age, and it's being so it's being run mm. by a bunch of like I I don't know what the term is for the like their rank but essentially they're like lords of their regions in japan mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's a 10 episode a mini series uh it's really good uh there is going to be a second season uh and then i quickly added one more to my list while we were talking um sean sure. you're gonna love this one uh boy meets world oh how, how did i leave that oh. one? um we kyle and i used to watch that all the time growing up <clears throat> Not Girl Meets World? Massages. Um, yeah, let's not talk about that one. <laughs> um, no, great, great show. Yeah, Boy great Meets show, World man. is a great show. Great coming-of-age show um, following the life of a couple different characters as they grow. and You literally watch them from childhood to basically adulthood for that show, which is kind of crazy and wild. Um, they did do a spin-off series, Girl Meets World. And it lasted for like two or three seasons. It's not as good. Yeah, great family um, dynamic, great family and yes. friends. There's a lot of like good lessons to learn from that show. It was one of those yeah. like you learn a lesson at the end of everything, but they were actually good lessons compared to most others, like how to handle like a friend that is depressed and things like that. Mr. Fiend. It got super horny towards it the did. end though. It did. It did get super horny. Super horny. Yes. Um 
but it is a great show. Uh, if I had to give all those numbers, Ozark, I'd probably... Yeah, give them numbers. I'd probably give Ozark, like, uh, probably an 8. Freaking bad. Also, probably another 8. Uh, Shogun, probably 9.7. Uh, and then Boy Meets World, um, it's honestly one of my favorite shows. I've watched it a few times. Uh, so, probably, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a perfect show, but probably like a nine for me, at least. Nice. Yeah, Sean, what's your honorables? All right, so my, my honorable mentions are going to be um, so, uh, ha uh, Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Um, okay. That's a great show with a great horror show. Um, just, you know, with the I love how the. It's been a while since I've seen it. I think I need to rewatch it because I, I watched just, the I, sequel series. I didn't watch the original. Uh, yeah, which is how to take a blind manor, right? Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, but Hill House was better. Um, pretty much this family has to, uh, brothers and sisters have to go back to this house where they, uh, where they grew up and terrible stuff happened. They were ter terrorized by you know, supernatural stuff and. Um, they have to uncover and relive their past, which is tough because they were traumatized as kids. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it quick. So I'm going to give that a, I'm going to keep Hill, I'm going to give Hill, um, Haunting of Hill House probably an eight. Uh, great show. Fly Manor was good, but it wasn't as good as Hill, uh, as Haunting of Hill House. Um, just a couple more. I have 70s show, uh, Austin Kutcher and um, great cast. Um, just another comedy, just a show that you could put on after school and just, Leave it on in the background. Have a couple of laughs. Man, um, Ashton Kutcher yeah. had a career for a bit after that. Yeah, he did, and so did um, so did um, Jackie, um, my, uh, Myra. What's her name? Um, uh, Miley Kunis. Mila Kunis. Miley Kunis. Yeah, my, thank you, Miley Kunis. Um, uh, yeah, so um, they all had had uh, those were the most successful two, but they all had careers. Um, I give I would give that an eight as well. Except Hyde. The only career he had is a jail cell. Ouch. Oh, I know, I know. Um, yeah, Hyde was yeah that he's turned out to be a that, pedophile. The, right? That so, shows I just couldn't get into any of them. Yeah. Um, just a couple more, Kyle. You're gonna like this one, Blue Mountain State. Hell yes. Oh, honorable, honorable mention. Give me a hell. Give I me a would watch that show like every year. <laughs> I think it just came back to Netflix again. I think you're right. And watch it um, enough said about that would just pump me up. It's just hilarious. Uh, makes me want to go to college again and throw those parties because I used to throw pretty crazy parties too, but nothing like that. It's crazy. You didn't go. <laughs> but, uh, you didn't. You didn't do oil changes. <laughs> you didn't have drug Olympics. <laughs> exactly. Want an oil change? It's, it's got an oil change, but no, I don't want an oil change. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, real, real quick, I, I have. Sorry, I have a couple more, uh, and then I'll wrap it up. Supernatural, uh, Walking yeah. Dead, Walking mm -hmm. Dead. We should we should do an episode on movies slash shows that disappointed us. Started off strong and then just disappointed us with the because Walking Dead. Yeah, I, I think I think we floated we that topic that, a couple times we already. Mentioned that like yeah. several times. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm, I mean I'm talking. I'm, I'm yeah, Walking Dead was just the example of that. That should be oh, like yeah. framed. I'm talking like, about the, it's stormtroopers in the last oh. season. <laughs> I uh, couldn't even finish that. So there's so much you can do with a zombie show, and it became just so boring. Like, just it, it was straight like way writing. too far from its original material, and that might have been part yeah, of the problem. Yeah, just dead writing. It was just ridiculous. Um, Supernatural and uh, Mandalorian. My Mandalorian is my last one. Let me give these ratings. Blue Mountain State. I'm going to give a nine. Mandalorian. Um, just Star Wars. That's enough said. I love Star Wars. I'm going to give Mandalorian an eight. I'm gonna give Supernatural an eight as well, and Walking Dead. I'm probably gonna give a two, uh, a two, yeah, <laughs> yeah, two or, two or three, two or three, just because it started up. But it was good. It was fun watching with you guys because we used to do that yeah. every Sunday at Cow's House. Mm. But like the first season was good, and then the one with um, the one with what's his name, um, Herschel, with, uh, Herschel's farm. Uh, that was that like, no, they went, yeah, they went to Herschel's farm, and then for I just way too long. Even, it was the Just whole season. Wait. Season one's great. Part one of season two was bad. Part two of season two was good. Part one of season three was good. Part two of season three was bad. And then it was just bad after that. No, it's just uh, there was some ups and downs, but most of it was pretty bad. I Especially stopped watching all that Negan stuff. 
it's still going. Like, that show is still technically going. There's like several right, spinoffs right, right, now, right, right. and it's so disappointing. I stopped watching after Rick's back. Yeah, Rick's back. Him and Rick's Michonne, back. they're doing a thing. Yep. Maggie's with friggin' Negan. Um, Carl's dead. Sorry, spoilers. When he was finally getting good. <laughs> that kills people. But, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's bang through mine real quick. Uh, let's see here. We got Superstore, very funny. Like uh, that was a uh, that was a pandemic watch for me. Um, enjoyed it though. Uh, you know, it's a TV show about a a retail store. It was very relatable at the time, and it it truly that's why I didn't want to watch it. Very relatable. That's why <laughs> like, I couldn't. That's why I couldn't watch it. So many people were like, "Yeah, if you ever worked in a retail store, you'll you'll know what that is." And I'm like. Yeah, I don't need that. I had that life. I know it's a you, comedy. You can watch it now. You can watch it now, though. I think that you're out of that, essentially. Yes. Like, yeah, I think you'd just, appreciate it. You'll see I heard me good just things like... about that show. Yeah, I actually heard good things. Uh, I, I would give that six and a half, seven. Yeah. Like, solid show. Uh, Parks, Parks and Rec, also very. Fun. I have a lot of comedies on here. <laughs> Arguably the worst um, actor in Parks and Rec is uh, kept going. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Was in Park and Rec season one was super rough. Season two was a breath of fresh air, and then it was just kind of mixed throughout. But I enjoyed the characters. Yeah. Um, I'd probably give it a six, you six, ever, seven. You ever see Arrested Development? Yeah, yes. yeah, Arrested Development solid. That'll be in the. Uh, well, it started uh, out good. It started out good, and then the next Netflix seasons happened. Um, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, though. Go ahead. No, no. Um. One I thought about while we were doing this, Weeds. Hey, mm, good old Showtime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good show. Yeah, the good, good call. Um, Weeds, super good. Just show about a really nice family. Really nice family. <laughs> selling, selling weeds. <laughs> nice, bunch really of nice families family with a mother that's really, really nice to a lot of men. <laughs> really, really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, Weeds. I'd give seven, eight. Pretty good. Um. I got a Netflix one, a uh, Russian doll. Uh, very, very it's in good my show. List. I gotta uh, watch that. Yeah, it's it's only two seasons. It's done. Um, but like, yeah, it's kind of a it's a, it's a it's a it's a thinker. It's a thinker. It's very good. It's a it's a, it's a Groundhog's Day thing essentially. Okay. Um, for season one, then season two is just bonkers. Um, yeah, totally. Nice. I'd give. <laughs> Thank you. You're um, not enough people know about Bonkers. Um, bonkers. I give that an eight, solid eight. Uh, then Doctor Who, just solid TV. Like you know, started back in two thousand six. Not that I watched it in two thousand six. Wait, no, like, it started back happened. in like nineteen. Like we're not talking about twenty six one through forty eight. <laughs> Uh, we're starting with the re the uh, the the soft reboot. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Eccleston. In two thousand six. Yeah, uh, yeah, Eccleston. Yeah. Um, still going strong now. I started watching some of the Disney stuff uh, with the new Doctor. Yeah, well, the with the guy from Return um, of Sex Education. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Good show. Well, I'm like watching the. Nice. Uh, I'm watching the uh, David Tennant uh, stuff right now. The uh, oh. they had the three specials with him. Yeah, I haven't. I. Last thing I watched was the Matt Smith dying. Yeah, I didn't watch too much of the Jodie Foster stuff. I started watching that. I watched a lot of Capaldi stuff. That was I after didn't Matt watch Smith. Any of him. I did not watch it. That's where I stopped. I watched. I watched a tiny bit of Jodie, uh, and then now it's then it went back to Tenant, and now it's uh, on um, oh, how do you say his name? I don't it's know. not Shuti. It's there's like another. There's like a, it's a Shuti, I believe um he's a pretty good actor though yeah no he, he's i've seen clips of him playing the doctor and he seems like he's right at home um oh. but yeah doctor who I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine those those first three series timey well wimey. first three doctors were so good timey wimey alonzi um today everybody lives or nobody dies um yeah. and then uh so yeah nine for that <clears throat> and then i'm gonna throw Better call Saul at the wall real quick. <laughs> Just to nice. counteract because you brought up bag. Breaking Bag. Yeah, 
Uh, like, Wait, that's better. your honorable mention after you told me Better Call Saul's better? I didn't think about Better Call Saul until <laughs> you like brought back up uh, <laughs> Breaking Bad. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd give Better Call um, <clears throat> probably another nine, honestly. It was good. It was, wasn't too long. Didn't overstay its welcome. Gave Gave adequate backstory to characters. Introduced new characters. Gave like more information about like just more yeah more info about characters that are in breaking bad and whatnot yeah, like, and it was, that, like it was universe good. Can you watch better call Saul without watching breaking bad first um yeah you probably because most of it you, takes place you before can. it so it takes place after and before because i've so seen it different pieces of both but i haven't seen the it, whole yeah. <clears throat> it takes place basically it starts taking place after breaking bad following saul like on the run essentially yeah and then cuts back to before Breaking Bad, and it's like the rise of Saul, but it cuts into the present, essentially, of like what he's doing. It would just be um, what, El Camino is the one you can't watch without watching Breaking Bad. Yeah, El Camino right? would make no sense. You have that. You have to watch Breaking Bad for that. I haven't. I haven't even watched El Camino. I haven't yet. watched El Camino either. Me neither. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's all I got for that. All right. Cool. Well, uh, let us know in the comments. Down below. What your favorite TV shows were? Yes. Rate them. Or any of them in? Do you, do you do you agree? Do you disagree with ours? Do, do, you, do you? Yeah. Uh, are we fools? Should we <laughs> keep rated things lower? I mean, well, it's our top five. So we're, like personally, we're not rating them well, lower. Nice but do you think they are lower? Nice podcast. Well, well, nice podcast. While it lasted, guys. I think we're done. <laughs> I know. I said Steve Carell was the yeah. worst part of the office. We're gonna get flamed. <laughs> yeah, they just roast us in the comments. <laughs> I gave just a bunch I stand of by what shows I said. that He's nobody's too awkward ever to heard of, really, so nobody's going to even watch past what I just said. They're going to be like Spartacus and just click off. <laughs> They're not going to listen past what you said. All right, that's enough self-deprecation. Anyway, if you're still here, right. appreciate it. Like, we'll comment, subscribe, whatever else those people like to say. Thumbs and, up. Uh, yeah, see and you next possibly time. possibly get the audio version whenever Give Kyle us a five, five star rating. Five star rating. <laughs> Right. Bye. Bye. Later.